Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So today I would like to go over something regarding Samsung Extreme Pro SSDs that I've been getting quite a few emails about. As some of you may know, we, I do not just have a YouTube channel or a Yellow Clouds. I also run a repair shop and a data recovery facility. So people tend to email me about these things and I tend to notice patterns when I get emailed about certain devices over and over and over again. So I decided to actually start looking into this a little bit and I actually got pinged in a thread and also emailed by somebody who was experiencing a similar issue. I wanted to read it to you and point out that there is an issue tracker that I think would be useful for people who want to try to get to the bottom of the problem that they may be having if they have a SanDisk 4 terabyte SSD that is having this particular issue. This is on Reddit. Hello, editor friends. I, a DIT, have come to deliver a warning from the camera department, a warning specifically about SanDisk Extreme 4 terabyte Pro SSDs. Multiple DITs, loaders, and ACs on both coasts have experienced the exact same failure with these drives over the last month. The symptom seems to be that after sustained write, they will completely lose their file system and it's a total crapshoot whether you can recover it or not. The primary way you will see this is that the drive will unmount and you will not be able to get it to mount again, despite showing up in disk utility. You can sometimes recover it using disk drills file system rebuild, but occasionally that does nothing. It persists with any file system type. A few of us are working with a colleague at SanDisk to try and get this addressed, but in the meantime we're collecting data to prove to SanDisk that it is more than a fluke. Unfortunately, consolidation in the hard drive industry has given us few options that are as portable, affordable, and speedy, so it's fairly important to get this addressed. If you've experienced this, we would really appreciate it if you would log it at this form with as much of the information that you have. We promise we aren't selling your info, only sending the failures directly to Sandus so they can hopefully track down the root cause of the issue, and I'll include this link down below. And I also received an interesting email from a viewer about this who had went to a convention recently and says that they had spoken with a representative. Just to be clear and for obvious purposes in this video, this is a random unverified email from a viewer that I am reading, so take that for what you will. I had ordered one of these drives earlier this year, but then had to immediately pay to return the drive after my dealer warned me of issues these drives were facing. My film tools rep let me know that they had pulled all SanDisk 4 terabyte drives for sale due to multiple error reports. I then researched and found some obscure internet posts and musings of users experiencing drive failures and their inability to recover data or footage from these 4 terabyte drives in particular. There was no official SanDisk press release or even any acknowledgement of the issue. I just checked today and still no official info from SanDisk. This brings us to the conversation I had at NAB Show 2023 in Las Vegas last month. I got to speak with the Western Digital and SanDisk reps at their booth. I explained how I was very disappointed the company had not acknowledged the 4 terabyte drive issues and that I had sworn off purchasing any further products until this issue had been acknowledged and rectified. The lead mail rep then proceeded to explain the issue. Break this issue down into four main points. One. The 4 terabyte drive error had to be identified before any fixes could be generated. The error was identified and determined to be a Mac-only firmware slash controller encryption bit flip error. 2. Error as described to me is that Mac computers constantly run some form of encryption check, even when the computer is in sleep mode. This constant encryption query request stream was found to be overstressing the SSD controller chips and causing random bit flips. I can't remember if this only applies to newer M1 or M2 Macs or all current Macs. 3. Bit flip error was found to be an encryption flip, which results in catastrophic data loss. The bit flip causes the drive to become encrypted with no resulting encryption key being available. This is why no data can be recovered from drives that have experienced this error. 4. Error resolution will be a firmware update for the affected SSD models, which to my knowledge are only 4 terabyte models. Supposedly they've applied this firmware fix to new drives in manufacturing currently, but to my knowledge they haven't pushed the firmware out publicly yet. 5. I asked if this will be acknowledged publicly and was told emphatically, NO! They will only publish the firmware quietly. As per that rep, the company will not acknowledge or discuss publicly their findings or reasons for the firmware update. 6. I asked if error drives can be fixed with the firmware update and was told yes, but of course there's no recovering any drive data due to the encryption bit flip. Firmware will just make the drive usable again and supposedly no longer susceptible to the encryption bit flip error. In conclusion, I'm still disappointed that I was told Western Digital slash SanDisk will not publicly acknowledge the 4TB drive errors, their cause, and the reasons for the firmware update release. I can only assume that SanDisk doesn't want to antagonize Apple by publicly highlighting that Mac devices were the cause of the 4TB drive failures. I also assume that by only releasing the firmware update quietly, they are attempting to avoid recall or refund to users of these drives. Ultimately, I am still personally inclined to avoid purchasing any Western Digital or SanDisk drives going forward, especially SSDs drives. Now, I remember back in the day when I was very ignorant and naive, and admittedly, I'm probably still very ignorant, naive, and stupid, when I used to actually believe in the... The myth that because you had an SSD, you were immune to drive death. And I learned the hard way that that's not true. I had the 2 terabyte 970 Evo from Samsung. This is an NVMe drive that, unlike the 1 terabyte version, 
I, I've actually been through five of these at this point in time, and it can be, I can understand the aggravation when a company doesn't acknowledge that you can go through four or five of a particular model drive in a row and that, oh, it just must be a coincidence. Oh, you must just have bad luck. It's kind of aggravating to be gaslit in that way. So I'm very curious, are the people who've been watching this channel been having this type of experience with the SanDisk 4 terabyte Extreme Pros? And if you have, are you open to going over to this drive tracker form that I'm going to include down below? That would be very helpful to other people who are having this problem and perhaps SanDisk so that they can actually acknowledge it as an issue if it does exist. Again, do keep in mind, this is a Reddit post and a random dude emailing a data recovery company and me saying that I've gotten a couple of emails about people with SanDisk that have this issue a little bit more than what I've gotten from people that have had, let's say, other brands of drives. So take it for what you will. Did this person actually go to this event? I don't know. Did the SanDisk rep actually say anything to these things to him? Maybe, maybe not no real way to tell. But if this is an issue and something that could potentially save somebody lots of data loss, I think being able to log this type of information could accelerate a fix being pushed publicly as well as some acknowledgement of it if it is an issue and might just save somebody from having to go to rossmangroup.com and fill out the data recovery form, which, while not exactly good for Blackberry's eating habits because you might have, might have to go back to Friskies if that's the case, would be good for the audience. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Links in the description down below. Bye now. Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're loving a lovely morning. So, Blackberry, you stay on the left, the mouse stays on the right. We've been over this. Hello everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So, you can't just bite the mic cord, that's not how this works. No, sit. Sit, Barry, be like Clinton. Sit. You sit. You sit. You be a good kitty. Good kitty.